Good morning, everyone. Jerry Bellini here. Welcome to my studio. I'm kind of a hot mess today, so please bear with me if I can't find my words. <laughs> That's what happens. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to uh, tell you a couple things. Uh, one is, let me tell you why I'm a hot mess first. So I go, um, I summer down in Cape May, New Jersey, and I leave April 15th, and I come back October 31st. So, I, and I'll explain to you why I do that, what I'm doing down there. But when I get down there, I'm going to make a video and show you the place and show you my art room down there, etc. Um, but I've been packing and trying to get the house ready and trying to get some videos done and work in the Etsy shop and all this stuff. Anyway, I don't, I'm not down there like the whole entire summer. I come back and forth, but I'm mostly down there. Okay, that's done. <laughs> That's why I'm a little crazy. Anyway, I'm also a little crazy because I finished my bag. Yeah, it came out really nice. Oh, I'm so happy with it. I did decide to make sides. My computer fits in it perfectly. And it is a little bit of an odd shape, but I love it. And I didn't make the handles yet. So I am going to... I was thinking about making scrappy patch handles and then I changed my mind last night. I thought I'm going to use the twisted cord. So I'm going to try that and I'll have to, obviously I'll have to make several, but we'll see. So it'll either be finished um, for the video airing or I'll show you the finished with the handles another time. I'll take a picture of it at the very least. So there you have it. Uh, I really enjoyed making it. So the other thing, I'm having my coffee too while we're talking. The other thing is that when I was doing this, so I was explaining to you some of the problems that I was having when I was putting it together. And then once I started just stitching, you know, stitching these patches together, it was kind of, you know, boring. So, but I decided to run the video anyway. And I let it run for about 10 minutes and I did a voiceover. So the voiceover has nothing to do with the bag. So I'm just giving you a heads up. Um, my channel is called Aging Creatively and I want to address that and I feel like I haven't addressed it yet the way I want to. And so I'm talking to you in the voiceover about my thoughts about it. And I want to get started and I want to start doing some regular videos on how we can manage as we get older. Because you, you do have to change the way you do things when you get older. You just do. There's no getting around that. And I'm going to talk to you from the heart and tell you about some of the things that I've, uh, some of the struggles and triumphs that I've dealt with over the years. And I am not a professional. I am not a therapist. So just know that's a disclaimer. I don't know what I'm talking about, except that I can talk from the heart and share with you things that have worked for me, things that haven't worked for me, and just share. So I just want to share. And certainly if you have any, um, thoughts and struggles that you are having yourself, if you would share them, maybe, maybe I can talk about them. Um, I don't know. I don't know where this is going to wind up. I just know that I have this, um, I, my heart, I'm burdened with the fact that I need to share this. And so I'm going to, and I'm going to do the best I can. So please, if you have no interest in that, um, or you do have an interest in it, you can listen to the video. If you don't want to, just click it off. Um, please don't leave any negative comments about it. I'll just delete you. I'll just delete them <laughs> anyway. So I'm here um, to share. Okay. So I love you guys so much. I really do. You mean the world to me. You're my community. You're my people. And I hope together we can age creatively. So just remember, keep moving. Just play.
no rules and have something, find something to be grateful for today. I told you I couldn't find my words. <laughs> it's one of those days. All right, love you guys. You will need lots of funky patches. Okay, let's get started. I have a pile of these funky patches. I have no idea how many are here. Lay them out on your table and decide what size you wanna make your bag. I'm going to make mine. I'm aiming for about 15 inches long. I'm gonna make like a long, narrow one. So 15 inches long, and I wanna make mine about 12 inches wide. And I am going to put a bottom on mine and sides. That's the plan at this point, and it could change. I'm just gonna spread my patches out, and I'm going to come back and forth in and out of this video because some of the work that I'm going to do is just going to be very time consuming and kind of mundane. So I'm just going to lay everything out and then I'm going to prepare a spot in the middle. I'm going to keep this ruler. Now I'm working on my grid, my mat, which is wonderful for this kind of thing. If you have a mat that you can work on because it will keep me kind of straight and whatnot, but I do have my ruler here. I'm just going to set it to the side. And there's my 15 inch mark. I might go off frame a little bit, so forgive me. 15 inches, and then there's the top of the 15 inches. And I think, you ha I think I, yeah, I do, I have you all the way up. So I'm going to start laying these patches out like this. It's, it's like a puzzle. You're going to have to just play with the pieces until you get something that you like and is approximately the size that you want. So I'm going to start up at the top of my ruler and just have a play. And you might lay out some things and then just kind of leave them and then come back and that kind of thing. So I've been working on this for a while now and I'm kind of like stuck right up here in this corner. Um, I've moved a few things around a couple times uh, just to see if I could like reshape it. And um, you do have to walk away once in a while and then come back and see it with fresh eyes. I decided to start the second side and it's taken me a couple of hours to do this but I laid it on a piece of cardboard and it is sideways so you can see it. Um, this is going to be the bottom of my bag and this is the top of my bag because I'm doing a rectangle as I mentioned. So it is 12 inches wide and it's going to be 15 and this one's 15 and yeah, 15 and a quarter. So it, it's, you know, give or take a quarter of an inch, but I think I can fudge it with the stitching. And so this one fit together nice. Um, I'm still working on the first one. For some reason, this one went together really quickly. <clears throat> Let me move the cardboard. So you can see the other one is underneath. And I'm still stuck in this corner up here. So I'm going to just let it sit for a little bit. Well, I wasn't having any luck with the uh, top, so I started moving everything around, and now I have <laughs> the space in the middle. But uh, I think, you know, that's what I mean when I say you have to play with it and keep moving things around until they make sense. So, Okay, I almost got it. <laughs> it's just missing this piece, and this piece just is about a quarter of an inch off. So I can make another piece a little smaller than this, or I can take this piece and take the stitching out and fold it over a little bit more to make it just a little shorter. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but yeah, this is almost perfect. 
and I did have to take out I had this square in there at the corner and I did take that one out but you know I'll make other things and this piece I had already sewn together thinking I was going to make a a book cover and so I didn't even pay attention to that piece for a while and then all of a sudden I went wait a minute one last adjustment all right, I don't want to spend too much time on camera showing you how I'm moving these pieces around, but I do want you to get a good sense of what I'm doing. So I did get it laid out, and it is about the size I wanted. It's a little over 15 inches, and it's about 12 inches wide. But as I'm looking at it, I'm not crazy about everything is like straight here. The only place I have something like a little askew is right here, and I would like a little bit more interest. So I'm thinking I can start moving whole sections around. So the idea that I had was to move this and I just wanted to show it to you on camera. Move that over here and move that here. And so now look what happened. And it fits because these two pieces are the same same size and this cloth is very forgiving if it's off a tiny little bit you can kind of squeeze it into into place when you're stitching it so see just by moving these two I got another little segment here that's going askew so now this is a long piece here I'm not sure if I can change this up or not but I'm gonna play with it and the next time I come back I think we're gonna start putting it together Sewing the patches together, finally. I turned my bag sideways. This is the bottom, or this is the bottom, and this is the, these are the sides. And now I'm going to start sewing all these pieces together. I have a bunch of needles off to the side already threaded, and I have this chain nose tool that I'm probably going to need to pull my needle through because the seams are kind of thick. So these pieces fit pretty well. Let me see if I can get two that don't fit so great. All right, this one, let's just look at this one. Uh, this one is just a hair bigger. You can see that. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it, it's fabric. I'm going to make it fit. So I'm going to start in the corner and I have a knot at the end of my thread and what I started doing recently was going I went into the cloth I'm going in from the back and I have my needle coming out where I want to start and then I've just been kind of picking at the knot to get it to pop through sometimes it's easier than others I've shown you this in a couple of videos that I've done so now the knots in there I just started getting a little more um, neat with the way I was finishing off the back. I, I don't mind this at all so you know I don't have a problem with it just want you to know that but I thought in fact it is for, I think it's really pretty but I thought you know I think I'm gonna just start hiding my knots just for the heck of it. So my knots in there and I'm going to stitch these two pieces together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a whip stitch so I'm going to start in the corner and you can kind of like just use your judgment you can kind of spread it out a little bit but I definitely want the corners to match to be accurate so that when I put the whole thing together it will be somewhat straight I'm going to do a whip stitch on the back and then I'm going to open it up and do a whip stitch on the front and the reason I'm not going all the way through and whip stitching is because it's really kind of thick and it's very hard on your hands. So I thought I'm just going to catch the fabric on the top and then I'm going to turn it over and catch the fabric on the other side. And it's definitely going to hold. And I probably would do it a little differently if I wasn't doing a bag that's going to get all this wear and tear. I feel that it has to be sturdy. So I'm just going to start 
and I did show you how to do this in um, the funky patch video I believe so for me it's easier to just hold it in my hand to get it started in the corner and you know put like an extra stitch over there and here's your chain nose tool because it's there's a lot of layers and it's going to be hard at some points especially on the corners so now I feel like I can open it up and I'm just going to grab like the top layer of both sides so you can go from holding it in your hand it depends on how big the patches are too so this one's kind of wide if I was doing a smaller patch I'd be more apt to hold it in my hand and just go but since this one is wide and I'm going to keep my eye on this other end to make sure that they meet so I'll do this side and after I've done this side I'll flip it over and I'll do I'll do this side so I'll have whip stitches on both both sides wanted to show you what I do two things I'm at the end and I'm going to give this an extra stitch at the corner and I'm also at the end of my thread and so I am not putting knots in here like on the end I'm just going to take my needle and run in between the layers without coming on the other side and getting as far in as I can and just pull my needle through. Here are my pieces. I have two of them. They are totally stitched together. If you want to see me actually stitching a bunch of the patches together, watch the next video. And aren't they lovely? But now I need to put side pieces. And like that. So I could just stitch it together. And it could just be, you know, a bag like that. But when I had it in my head originally, it did have side pieces so that it would be a little wider and it did have a bottom. So I am going to get ready to do that now. Now for the sides and bottom. I can make one long strip on this side and then another one over there and then one at the bottom. Or I can continue to make pieces. That's the question at the moment. And I'm inclined to make pieces, even though that's going to take longer. <laughs> yeah, so uh, my whole life I've really enjoyed freeform work. And I don't usually measure and calculate. It's just not my thing. So I aim and shoot, which is kind of what I did today. But I know there's a lot of you that don't wa don't work that way. So I'm trying to explain the whole thing to you. Okay, so uh, I landed on about an inch and a quarter for the bottom and the sides. So I cut my strips out and this is the bottom. This is the bottom strip. So I don't know how this is going to play out, but um, it's I cut it just a hair bigger than the bottom a hair meaning about a quarter of an inch because when I stitch them together what am I trying to say there's two things going on here one is when you cut out your batting a certain size and then you add your fabric and your stitching the patch always gets a little bigger that's one thing to know and then when you stitch it together, the patch gets a little smaller. And uh, this has just been an experiment for me, um, making something this big. And uh, I just brought you along for the ride. So I hope you're enjoying um, and keeping track of what I'm saying and doing for your own projects going forward. So I'm going to make three patches for the bottom. And I'm going to cut the sides up as well into a couple of different patches and we'll see what happens. And I wanted to talk to you about the sides which and the bottom which you can see are already done. So I cut those, um, you saw, I cut the 
batting out and I cut it out just a little bit longer than the actual length of the bag. Just about a quarter of an inch I gave myself. I just wanted to explain to you real quick because I didn't in the video, I just noticed, that when I stitched when I stitch that length in, let's just say this is a really a long length, I pinned it because this was such a long length, I pinned it here on this end and then I pinned it on this end. And then if there was any extra or maybe it was a little short, I just eased it in so I you could put another pin in the middle because this is this is 15 inches. So it's a long space. I just felt I had to do that. And then you just keep stitching, you know, just keep adding the um side piece and keep your eye on what's happening here and it's fine. It's not bubbly or it's not too tight or anything. It came out really nice, I think. My thought for the handles is this. I wanted to use my twisted rope and I have a video uh, on how I made this and I'll leave the link up in the video someplace. Here's my, here's my twisted rope. See how fun that looks? I did it. I finished it. Yay. Here. Here's my bag and it's finished. I love it. I love, love, love the straps. So what I wound up doing is I made twisted cord and I did four of those and then I did one strand of, this is um, a cotton cording and it's really, really strong. So it's actually three strands, comes on a spool. It's three strands and I braided it just to give it a little interest and this way it won't stretch because it's in with the fiber twist will stretch a little bit. Ugh, I can't believe I finished it. All Keep right. moving, just play, no rules. Find something to be grateful for today. And I am grateful for you and the fact that I finished this bag. See you soon.